What's up, boy? Lance Williams, the outside linebacker for the University of Hawaii. And this is Home Grown. My family and I were all raised in the, the city of Kali. We lived in Cool Hill Park Terrace, known as uh, KPT. Me and my brother, we lived there with my mom only. Uh, we just started at the beginning, so we, we went to Little Pony Elementary that was uh, in there. We went to Fern Middle School for a little bit, and we were all just, you know, living the life in Kali. My mom used to work uh, double jobs all the time. When she used to drop us off to school and then uh, she used to go work and then we won't see her till maybe dinner time at eight o'clock. But grandpa and grandma was always there for us. So they were the ones that were um, at home um, cooking uh, lunch and dinner for us and while mom was just working and helping paying the rent and stuff. And uh, my, gran my grandparents were always the number one supporters in our lives. My grandfather always taught me to just, you know, give back to the community and always you know, care for one another, but that's the main thing that I always wanted to do is to just, you know, help kids and then help, you know, make a difference in, in their lives growing up. And it all started from the internship that I had going to the Boys and Girls Club. Those kids really changed who I was as a person. When when Jarek, my manager there that supported me in the Boys and Girls Club, he put me in the in the coaching system, always wanted to put me in the gym and always wanted to help those kids to be active and stuff. The team I had, uh, they had so much respect for me. I had so much respect for them. And, you know, the kids there are just so great. So this is where everybody comes free time. They play pool table, ping pong, you know. All the kids can hang out if they don't want to go in the gym. It's all right, it's all right. Yeah. Oh, what's up? This is Kona, this is the guy that was on one of our basketball teams. He cut his hair. How you cut your hair? Let me coach you guys. Let me coach you guys. Been such a positive impact with the kids here. It's really incredible because a lot of the kids don't have a very strong male mentor or role model in their lives and when he came in he was very hands-on, very engaged. He wasn't afraid to just go meet new kids and introduce himself and that ability to connect with the kids really opened up their um, opened up their mind to see that wow like you know someone cares about me and it, it gave them this this really good feeling, I think. People like Lance are choosing to give back. They're choosing to be engaged. They're, they're choosing to impact youth and, and really reach others and, and share their knowledge and their skill and their enthusiasm with, with the community that needs it. You know, a lot of these kids really need that extra support and that extra inspiration and push. So I think it's just, it's been invaluable for us to, to have him engaged in our program because He's provided a lot of hope for the kids that if they set their dreams high and if they put in the work, then it's very possible to reach their dreams. And he's, he's a living example of that. I told Jarek to say, oh, if I could bring the kids to one of the, the games. And he was like, oh, he was, his eyes were all open. They were all shocked, like, yeah, let's go. Like so seeing their eyes watching the game or the fact that we went on the field, I never got to go on the field at a UH game, so I was like a kid in their shoes, you know, I can only imagine what they're feeling. Watching the guys come out of the tunnel, um, watching them do the haka, watching them do all of these things, seeing the crowd from the field side, it's like they realize the world's so much bigger than, you know, where they're at, and you just see it in their lives, like they savor every single moment. It, it just validates everything that we do here at the Boys and Girls Club and you know unfortunately some parents can't take them to games and things like that but that's why we're here that's why we do what we do 
That's why we love people like Lance, it's because they provide opportunities that don't exist for kids like this. That was like one of the best, you know, moments of my life. When I saw them, it just, you know, tears was in, in my heart. It was just a blessing to them and a blessing to me to see them, you know, having a chance to just watch you know, the UH game that they never, you know, was going to experience before. So some of them were just, that was their first game there, even first time on the field. So it was a great, great experience. If I were a kid and I was looking up to Lance, I think I'd see, I'd see pride. And he always really identifies just the, the best in who you are, who the kids are. And I'd, I'd see motivation within myself to strive to be more like him. You know, you, you can't teach that type of thing. You know, it, it's more of, he has it in him. It's so amazing to see, no matter where you come from, you can be successful. They can see a guy like him and say, I can be him. And that's the best part. That was one thing that my grandfather like, like preached so much about is to just give back. Because once you give back, you will receive good things. I always wanted to maybe even coach one day at Farrington, maybe give back. I just want you know, to always find a job where I can have a big impact in everybody's lives and to just always constantly giving back to the community. Turn it.